In this video, I'll show you how to set up composite products in your WooCommerce store. These are made up of products or other components. Sometimes you can allow customers to purchase these products separately. And on other occasion, they can only be purchased within our composite product. Two benefits from using this particular method is that you get to benefit from WooCommerce inventory management. So whenever there's a component that isn't in stock, that will reflect on your composite product. Another benefit is if you're calculating your shipping by weight, then you can add the weight to each of these individual components so when we're shipping out the products to our customers we can give them a accurate shipping information and with that being said let's get straight into it for example i'll show you how you can create a composite product similar to this one here we've also included a conditional field as well so for example if we choose this camera we can conditionally display the additional option based on this selection here we'll get back to that in a second so let's choose our lens let's choose the memory card here there's actually no option to choose a bag right because we've created a conditional field here and let's switch this to sony and now we can see this option where it says include free bag right so this field here is conditionally based on a customer choosing this Sony option okay so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store the first step is to head over to aovop.com go ahead and download the aovop product add-ons plugin I'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard okay so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and upload and install the AOV up product add-on plugin so we just navigate over to plugins add new upload and install the plugin once you've done so we'll head over to our products tab here and I just want to give you a quick overview of what we're doing so it will make sense right so on my store here we're going to create a composite product for our camera kit however as you can see here we've already got a few different products on this store right so we've got this camera lens here we've got this sony camera we've got some memory cards and we've got some canon related lens and also this canon camera as well okay so these are the individual products on our store now we want to create a composite product to allow customers to first choose the camera frame then the camera lens and then the memory card right so to achieve this we're going to create a new product so you can look at this as the parent product and then all these individual components are the child product so we can say something like dslr kit or just camera kit right let's go ahead and add our image so we'll just treat this like any other product let's upload the image Let's add this image here. Let's hit select. Okay, so for the price, we're going to set this to zero. And the reason is we'll give customers the total based on the different options in which they've selected. So we can fill in all the other information, such as the description, category, and so on. But for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. Okay, so when we view this product, not much will be going on. Okay, so this is how it looks currently. Now let's go ahead and add on our options, right? So we'll head back over to our dashboard. And now we'll navigate to AOV up and then product add-ons. We'll create a new option set. Okay, we'll give this a name. We'll just say camera kit. It's just for internal purposes. Okay, and then we get to choose where we want to apply these options in which we'll create, right? So we can apply it to all products. It doesn't make sense in this case. So I'm going to select this option here where it says specific product or categories. And then I'm going to go ahead and select our DS. I'm going to select our camera kit okay so here it is and now we'll go ahead and start building out our options so the first thing we want to do is create a heading and i'm going to say choose camera body okay so we've got our heading and now i'm going to select products okay and we're going to add two products so the first product is we'll add our sony which is this one, and then we'll add our Canon. Okay, and then for the price, we'll just use the price of the particular product. So we'll just hit save. Okay, I'm gonna add another head in here. I'm gonna say choose um, lens, so step two. Okay, now I'm gonna select products again. I'm gonna add another option here, and then we're just gonna say lens, right? Okay, so we've got our Canon lens and this should be a Sony lens as well. Let's hit save. Now let's go ahead and add another heading. And we'll say, and then we'll choose products again. 
and then here we'll add our memory card add another product let's go card and now let's go ahead and save this let's view our product so let's refresh this page okay and here we've got our option right so step one we need to choose our camera body so for example i can choose this option here and then we can choose the lens let's choose this option here and then we can choose the memory card and then we can just add it to our basket okay so this is just a camera example you can use this if it's a custom bike we can choose the wheels we can choose the pedal the frame and so on right so hopefully you get the idea um, another thing which i didn't cover is we can also create conditional fields so let's say for example um, someone shows the sony camera right then maybe we want to only show them the sony related parts okay so to do this let's quickly let's add a new option right so we're going to say we're going to add a new field which says um, um carrier bag right so let's add a new field so like a bonus field so i'm going to add a heading again And then for the field, we'll select a label. Sony. So we'll, again, I'm, this is just to illustrate what we're trying to do here on the front end. So we'll say Sony specific field. And then for the label, we'll just say include bag. So this could be a free or a paid option. We'll just say free bag, right? It will say include free bag. Okay, so they'll only get the bag if they choose a Sony camera. Okay, so now we just need to head over to conditional logic and then we need to enable this option and then we'll say show if enable this option here. If it matches any of these options. So the customer needs to select the Sony product, right? And then we'll say is selected. So we can save changes. All right, so let's hit save changes. Now let's view our product. So let's refresh this page. All right, so let's choose a Canon product and then let's just choose any lens and any memory card. So here you can't see that option, which is prompting us to choose the bag because that's conditionally based on the customer choosing a Sony product. So let's change this to a Sony product. And then here we can see the free bag option, right? So that's how we can incorporate conditional fields in our composite product builder. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.